Thomas Lee from the Red Crown Plaza. I'm delighted to be joined by the game, John Grant. John, how does it feel to be back out there? Nah, it's good to come. Uh, obviously, just having a broke my hand last year. Just good to get back out there and put a good performance in. They're working hard, they're probably the best shape I've been in. So, I just looking forward to it. It's a tough fight there, so. Uh, no, a controlled fight. I controlled that. I felt like uh, at the start I worked him out and then just kind of. He kind of stayed away after I turned my right hand, so. Ah, no, good. good. You feel like you had to work your way in here slowly because of your absence, or were you fine? To be fair, I've trained my arse off. You say arse? <laughs> <laughs> trained my arse off, so no, I'm fit. I'm fit as it. I'm, honestly, I've, I've, I've hammered the gym. I've just tried to get myself to a good level so that when I came back, I could get straight into a six rounder. So happens that this was a four rounder, but big guy Edgar Sneeds, I knew he was going to be durable, so I just had to go out there, work him out to start a lot taller than six four or something. Like so he was a big boy. I don't know how he made my weight, but he did, so, no, it was good, caught me some tasty shots, and uh, after it he came out and he says, look, you, you, you really nearly had me away there, uh, obviously just the, the back half, and he kind of played the outside and kind of held on quite a bit there, but no, it was a good, it was a good night, good to get back out, just to get in there, obviously after the handbrake. That's what I was going to ask you, how has it been in that nine months, I think it's been nine, ten months, uh, has it been frustrating, has it been... Aye, so, so, well, I've set up my own, my own business, so, uh, knock out Thailand, mate, we'll zoom that in. Too so, soon. There we go. And then all my sponsors, so, aye, uh, just obviously setting up my own business, and I've just had a new wee baby boy, Roman, and my daughter Eva, so just kind of dealing with that, and then once I get that stable, I, was, I knew I had loads of work coming in, I could then work my training schedule, because it's hard, you know what it's like, but those boys were having to work, and so just make, finding that balance, and then once I've done that, I could get myself in right good shape, training in the mornings, going to work in the afternoon, training at night, just that was good, got a good balance in it, mm -hmm. definitely and a good balance. It must have been some buzz getting back out there though, because... Because it has been a, the last aye. time was the hydro redemption of the hydro as aye. you were you were yep. aye, it. It. and then um, then you had to say back obviously so you must have been buzzing just to get back out there oh 100 percent absolutely buzzing aye uh, and the result and just obviously that boy's been in with some of the top light heavyweights he's been in with cruiserweights I actually think he's maybe been up at heavyweight at some point so he's been in with some top names you can look at his record he's been the distance with some top names he's been the distance with me as well but I had him in there do you know what I mean so. No, that's in positives. We can only take the positives. But I look forward, but you know me, I'll, I'll take any fights on. So Frank Warren, Eddie Hearn, if you've got any light heavyweights about a test, then I'm the test. Just uh, touching on that, you want to crack on now, but what's the plans? Have you got I'd, anything I'd to like to win the Scottish title. If I could win the Scottish title with light heavyweight, I'd be happy. And then we'll see where we can go for there. can win some other titles, uh, hopefully. We'll see, I'm not putting a ceiling on it. As I say, get the Scottish title, we'll see what happens. But... Listen, I'm open to find anybody out in the road as well. Light heavyweights, I'm open for it. Just before I let you go, <clears throat> down in Dubai we've got a wee contest coming up, he's grabbing a fair bit of press. You're in quite a good position to give us a prediction because you've shared the ring with Tommy Fury. Aye. Tommy Fury, Jake Paul, what do you, what's your opinion on it? Back, I've got to go for Tommy, I've trained him, haven't I? Uh, you fought him? I fought him. I fought him and when I, I came off the couch and fought him, three days notice, and I still done well. Uh, but aye, listen. Tommy's got it on his shoulders and he really needs to go with that. I can't really see how he doesn't run it, but it'll be, it'll be exciting, obviously. It's bringing a lot of eyes to boxing, but I'm more interested in me now and me going pushing forward. I'd fight in him again. <laughs> I'm sure you would. <laughs> I'd fight him for him. Uh, well, I'd him. You, you, I don't know if you do know Tommy that well. I know you've, you've trained Tommy him. Tommy King, I'm Jordan. Tom. <laughs> it's Jordan King, me and I can talk for 20 minutes. Aye, Jordan, I'm going to ask you about 20 minutes. I don't know how well you know him personally, right? But do you, do you, do you see it going the way it's went that he's been calling it? Like everyone knows Jake Paul got his fame for YouTube. Aye. Like, do you see Tommy Fury pursuing that line, or do you think he was more interested in the serious side of boxing? I think he's interested in the serious side. He, he, when you get in there, it's very professional. I mean, obviously, I've been part of the sparring camps for. I was part of the sparring camp for London when they fought at Wembley under the Tyson undercard. So I was down there for weeks and uh, serious, serious. They're a serious team, so they want serious results. So hopefully, I wish them all the best. Cool. Well, we look forward to seeing you back, here, Jordan. Just have a year.